start now. Uh, is my voice audible? Yes, yes, fully audible. Yes, yes audible. Okay. <clears throat> As rightly quoted by the great scientist, Louis Pasteur, science knows no country, no language, no barrier, because knowledge belongs to humanity and is a torch which illuminates the world. A very good morning to one and all present, respected principal ma'am, Dr. Nisha Bhargava, Dr. Indu Arora, Dean Sciences and in Charge, MCM Vigyan Manch, our eminent and honorable speaker for the day, Dr. Rohit Sharma, my dear colleagues and my dear students. I feel immense pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all as we gather today on this virtual platform, the MCM Vigyan Manch, celebrating the Science Week organized by Meher Chan Mahajan DAV College for Women, Chandigarh, under the aegis of Department of Science and Technology and Renewable Energy, Chandigarh Administration. The week-long Science Day celebrations focus on highlighting and understanding the significant role of science in development. It also underscores the unmatched role of numerous scientists in broadening our understanding of the remarkable, fragile planet we call home and in making our societies more sustainable. With this enthusiasm and focus, we continue as we all assemble for today's webinar on a very important and engaging topic, how to transform an innovative idea into a technology, organized by Department of Food Science, Meher Chand Mahajan DAV College for Women Chandigarh, under the aegis of Department of Science and Technology and Renewable Energy, Chandigarh Administration. A warm welcome to all once again. Established in 1968, Mehachan Mahajan DAV College for Women stands tall as a leader in the field of higher education. The inception of this prestigious institution was a dedication to the exemplary contribution of Justice Mehachan Mahajan, the former Chief Justice of India. The President of India, His Excellency, Sri Ram Nath Kovind, himself graced the college to celebrate the Golden Jubilee of the Institute. Accomplishing new heights, MCM is embracing latest innovations with open arms and transforming the scope of education. What makes MCM an education maestro is its optimistic approach that strikes a fine balance between education for life as well as education for living. Owing to its excellence in infrastructure and futuristic vision of a worthy principal ma'am, Dr. Nisha Bhargava, the college has been re-accredited with A grade by NAC and accorded star status by Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. Our high rankings as top best colleges in India today, the week and the tribune reflect the journey of excellence and success. Scaling new heights, the college has also got a place in the band 101-150 in the All India NIRF ranking 2021. The college was awarded the first prize for the cleanest residential college in the country in the National Swatch Campus ranking 2018 by the Government of India. The college also won All India third rank in best citizen-led innovation category in the Swatch Survection by the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in the year 2019. With focus towards selfless service, the college has been continuously striving to serve and uplift the society, address the challenges for effective mitigation while raising awareness on swachhata, environmental sustainability, hygiene, disinfection, water conservation, waste management, rural women empowerment via various social outreach and community engagement programs. The college has received numerous national level awards and recognitions for its unique initiative from Mahatma Gandhi National Council of Rural Education, Ministry of Education, Government of India. Skills and knowledge are the driving force of social development as well as personal development. With this focus, we try to upskill our students at every possible level through various skill oriented activities, workshops, training sessions, etc. The college is a registered skill provider by National Skill Development Corporation, registered on the portal of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Government of India. 
In addition, a college has recently been approved by the Ministry of Food Processing Industries, MOFPI, Government of India, as a state-level technical institute under Pradhan Mantri formalization of micro food processing enterprise scheme for entire UT for training and capacity building. Achieving new heights, MCM is adopting the latest innovations. The College Innovation Council continues to systemically infuse a culture of innovation and startups and has been awarded four star rating by Ministry of Education, Government of India for promoting activities in this direction. The college has been the pioneer in establishing innovative scientific technologies to mitigate the issues of solid and liquid waste management for deciphering the value of waste while promoting adoption of green alternatives such as solar panels, rainwater harvesting system for water conservation, organic farming, etc. for strengthening environmental sustainability. The college has also been awarded with certificate of appreciation by National Center for Cell Science for participating in the MANA scientific research and comprehensive self-assessment module. Adding another cap, the college has been recently awarded first rank by Municipal Corporation Chandigarh under mission Swachh Chandigarh in Swachh Survection 2022 for its comprehensive approach towards a no-waste clean and green campus. Coming to our department, the Department of Food Science, whose foundation was laid in 2001, initiated a unique one-of-its-kind course, BSc Microbial and Food Technology, under the UGC Innovative Program Scheme. Since then, the department has been actively involved in strengthening the scientific temperament and research skills of undergraduate students by undertaking research projects on topics of societal, environmental, and health relevance. At the UG level itself, we have significant research publications till date, all in index journals, representing students' research work and dedication. Students' activities participate in various national and international level seminars, workshops, idea competitions, conferences to hone their scientific communication and innovative thinking skills. Further initiatives like setting up of biogas plant in the college, waste segregation, compost pits, mushroom cultivation from domestic waste, in-house sewage treatment plant, microfiltration project, and various social outreach activities have been envisaged and successfully executed by our departmental team. All this and much more has been possible only due to the constant guidance and motivation of our worthy principal ma'am, Dr. Nisha Bhargava. Dr. Bhargava has been a pillar of strength and real visionary behind the achievements of MCM, enabling the college to scale new heights in execution and implementation of various projects related to the benefit of society and environment. Thank you, ma'am, for your encouraging words, your encouraging motivation always, which helps us to scale new heights. Your blessings are always there. Moving ahead, it is my great pleasure and honor to share that we have amongst us an outstanding and prolific academician, scientist, an active researcher, a personality of high intellect, whose exemplary work has greatly contributed towards the field of science and biotechnology in numerous capacities, Dr. Rohit Sharma. Dr. Rohit Sharma is a chairperson, Department of Microbial Biotechnology, Punjab University, Chandigarh, Chief Coordinator, EUA, Punjab University, Chandigarh, and Project Leader, Bionist. We welcome you, sir, and express our deep gratitude for accepting our invitation, taking time out of your busy schedule, and gracing this occasion. We are extremely delighted with your presence, sir. May I now have the pleasure to introduce him to all of you. Dr. Rohit Sharma enjoys a vast experience of more than 20 years in the field of microbial biotechnology with primary focus on biocatalysis, fermentation technology, scale up of processes and proteomics. He has 35 research papers in international journals of high repute with more than 4,000 plus citations till date. Dr. Sharma has a total of 15 patents filed with four granted. Sir has numerous research grants funded from Government of India and multiple industrial collaborations with many industries. He is one of the leading pioneer to establish the startup and entrepreneurial ecosystem in the region, and we thank him for this. Dr. Sharma was sanctioned Sustainable Entrepreneurship and Enterprise Development Fund 
funded by BIREC, Government of India, with a total grant of rupees 1 crore for supporting startups with the fund. It was also sanctioned 20 lakhs in the year 2017, 13 lakhs in the year 2018, and 15 lakhs in the year 2020 under the Corporate Social Responsibility by Fresenia Calvi Oncology Guru Gram. Also, sir was sanctioned 6 lakhs in the year 2020 under the Corporate Social Responsibility by Tech Invention Life Sciences Private Limited for COVID-19 related initiatives. Really commendable, sir. Adding another feather to his cap, Dr. Sharma was able to obtain a grant of rupees 44 lakhs in the year 2020 for a project on purification of protein by Reliance India Limited, Mumbai. Sir has been the Chief Coordinator, Secondary Agriculture Entrepreneurial Network, 2018 under Bioness Punjab University Chandigarh for startup innovation support funded by BIREC, Government of India, with a total grant of Rs 2.57 crore. He's also the project leader under Bioness Scheme of BIREC, Government of India at Punjab University Chandigarh, with a total grant of Rs 4.1 crore. Dr. Rohit Sharma serves as Chief Coordinator of the Cluster Innovation Center, a project under University Innovation Cluster in Biotechnology Scheme of Biorec Government of India, with a total grant of Rs. 2.59 crore till March 2021. He is a recipient of numerous research and innovation-based awards and achievements. Recently has been awarded the Pfizer IIT IP Award for two consecutive years for the patents and technologies that he has contributed. Sir has been the conferred fellow of Indian Botanical Society and has catalyzed many MOUs with multiple organizations, government agencies, private firms for translational research. The list of his exemplary achievements and work in the field of science and innovation is actually very long. And we congratulate him wholeheartedly for his dedicated and unmatched efforts in the field of science and innovation. With this, may I now invite Dr. Rohit Sharma to please take over the virtual platform and enlighten our young audience with his expertise on the topic, how to transform an innovative idea into a technology. So please. Thank you, Dr. Sandeep, for such a nice introduction. At the outset, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Nisha Bharagawa the principal of Merchan Mahajan uh, College uh, for Women. I'm also very thankful to the Dean, Dr. Innu, and more importantly, uh, Dr. Vandana Sharma for inviting me for this interaction with you. So I, I would have been really very happy to be there in MCM offline so that I can interact with the young minds one-on-one -on -one and we can, and, uh, I can extend that uh, what I would say, an, uh, an arm which is required for the young minds to really take over that research and innovation platforms, work into those research and innovation platforms which we have set up and we've been very fortunate that Government of India has been so very kind uh, to extend those supports as Dr. Sandeep has shown you that this is a journey which started uh, a decade ago and this journey has resulted in a large number of, uh, I would say, not only ideas, I just decided this topic because I really wanted to take you all you young minds, I can see a very good number of students here, uh, to make you really feel uh, at home with what we talk as research and innovation and how you actually can leverage the support of the systems which are existing for creating those, that wealth, which we all talk that this ecosystem would be giving us such an opportunity, has provided us such an opportunity for those success parameters that can happen. What I've done in my presentation is, this would be a real time, real analysis of the actual practical things that have happened. Rather than talking theory, I will try to bring through this virtual platform a reality of life, a reality of the components which are existing where you all can be a participant and later on can be one of the success stories for the uh, society. So I'll share my slides with you. In this very brief introduction, I'll just share my slides with you and then interact. I would want this uh, presentation, I'll uh, give this presentation and then you can, uh, we can interact. I can uh, answer your queries. 
So before we start, can we all have a group picture, please? Can everyone switch on the cameras? Yes, sir, you may please start. Yes, sir, you may please start. Yes, I am I'm sharing my slides. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. I hope you can see the slideshow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, today's topic, uh, I have chosen the topic how to transform an idea, an innovative idea into a technology. As I said, that we would be talking about the realistic picture that is existing rather than talking the theory, because today is an era of success when you're talking success parameters, they are not theoretical. That's what my journey has taught me of almost two almost two decades into this sort of a, a feeling of creating that entrepreneurial uh, network, creating, creating that ecosystem uh, for the startup uh, systems which are which are were existing in other regions of the country and creating that ecosystem in this north of India. And uh, I would uh, show you some examples where how, how those ideas have really transformed into a successful technology. Uh, with very practical examples from our own ecosystem. Now, uh, this is uh, this is one of the I have to start this whole uh, conversation with you through the EU Punjab University, which is a pre incubation platform. There is a reason why I chose to go ahead with this. Though this ecosystem starts with pre incubation to incubation, and from uh, from incubation, it goes to post incubation. It goes to post incubation. Now, what is a pre incubation space? Pre incubation means that you have an idea and you need some technology platform where you would want to really come and work, cause your proof of concept, and move ahead. And this pre incubation space today is for the colleges, the students who are undertaking their bachelor's program while doing their BSc, you, you all, uh, the girls who are here in this platform, they are all doing their bachelor's degree in uh, Mirchan Mahajan uh, College. So during your degree, if you have an idea, you can really pick up that idea, formulate that idea. It moves from the formulation to the assessment. Assessment is done by us. Also, along with that, a market validation is done, whether that idea is actually transformable into a technology. Then, there are different segments under the pre-incubation space. You have a training for skill management. Uh, then you have business conversations, because each idea, when we talk, that it has to see the light of the day. It has to see the light of the day through uh, real, uh, you can say, real-time analysis of your uh, research which you are undertaking. Uh, we, so, so that it doesn't become uh, academic research for publications. And that research which you would undertake reaches the market one day because we all say that we are carrying out some research to really see that we one day take that research uh, and we say that we, we are always working for the societal causes. And that those business conversations tell you that how really you realistically are you into that space of uh, uh, what you call as uh, technology uh, deliverables. And uh, during this whole course, all the components which are a part and parcel of this whole setup, you are taught the business orientation through multiple presentations, through interaction with experts. 
then there is an internal competition and an external committee to evaluate that take you to right across that line which we call as a thin line which is a distinction between an academic research to a translational or a societal benefit uh, beneficially uh, society beneficial research uh, and we call that as uh, entrepreneurship and we have very specific defined business models to do that which which are which would become a part and parcel of your understanding tomorrow once one becomes a part of the eu system or the eu center and there are ways and mechanisms in place which would be taught to really take your technology to the market strategies some already existing some innovatively created for for your technology which you come up with here is uh, the advertisement which we came up with the government of india came up with there are 10 eu centers which have been set up right across the country and we are one of the awardees for this center in north of india and we are the flag bearers for really hand holding identifying hand holding providing the technology platforms to these young minds through their researches and taking them further we have to choose 25 eu fellows and these eu fellows would be as it is written in the advertisement undergraduate students who would be who are already undertaking their graduation courses and they they would be once they are selected they will be paid an uh, stipend of 2500 rupees a month and uh, uh, for, for five uh, innovators or five a team of five we'll be choosing a team of five each with one mentor and an amount of 250000 indian rupees that's two and a half lakh rupees as contingency and consumables for that carrying out that project and more importantly you will be a part of the incubation space that has been set up by government of india here at punjab university you will have free access to that space too all the mentors who are existing here for as i said i showed you in the previous slide that there are components which are very important part and parcels when you talk ideation i just uh, label some of them through the pre incubation space and i'll show you the incubation space and then later on how actually uh, that incubation space helps helps you to reach a situation where you can sell off your technology and you will be mentored for all the components which you are shown through pre incubation space slide and very importantly then you are a part of this what we term as a pipeline of incubators pipeline of incubators means people who are skilled people who are mentored people who have already seen that space of uh, delivering through entrepreneurial ecosystem people who have understood the space of startups people who understood the finances people who understood those models for business the uh, business development models or models of successful businesses and very importantly as you have seen uh, in, say, in my introduction uh, dr sandeep showed that we have multiple taller players who are already existing with us as our partners through financial support and they are there to handhold you further once it's identified as a technology or we always say that passion drives and success as we have already known from very very practical examples which you all uh, must have heard seen and you are using products of such people one of the very very well known examples is of steve jobs we all know that what he did and how he has transformed the global systems into what we term as sitting here on a table i am interacting with you people sitting in different parts of the country or maybe state or maybe the city we are interacting live and you know that apple is the power and i hope you all know the journey of apple i hope you know the journey of steve jobs all of us have read a lot very briefly steve jobs was a very ordinary human very ordinary human who was picked up by none other than nolan bushnell in a company called atari as an employee he was just an employee in that company but his passion his drive his thought, thoughts which we term as out of the box resulted in something which today has shown us what we term as everybody wants to buy apple products apple has moved people were talking of lockdowns people were talking of meltdowns people were talking of economic 
uh, um, you know, disintegrations. People were talking of uh, uh, companies moving into losses. Apple has moved into appreciation, moved from 60% to 70% of appreciation in their business. That's where the catch is. And if you look at that human, maybe he wasn't a graduate even. And if you look at his profile, he started in a company called Atari, which was a gaming company. And he really transformed that company through his passionate vision. And Nolan Bushnell, and as you know, Steve Wozniak was his partner in one day. Steve Wozniak was never recognized for his participation with Steve Jobs because Steve Jobs had something very distinct with him in him. And that's one of the rarest of rare idea to a transformed technology journey, which we all know. But that's a journey which we read. Today, through my presentation, I will show you the journey of those young minds who existed in our ecosystem, in our who are our partners today, who are a part, part and parcel of the system of what you saw as a university innovation cluster was identifying those ideas. That's what we did in our system. Those ideas transformed from UIC, which now we know that we have an EU system. UIC was talking about postmasters and postdoctoral fellows only. EU is talking of picking up the tech, uh, picking up those young minds from the colleges, picking up those students who are a part of graduation. A lot of them used to come to me, sir. We want to be a part of it, but as as your minimum ability qualifications are master's degree, qualified master's degree. So we cannot be a, an applicant. Today is the time, an era. We had multiple government programs where graduates were eligible. You had to have a graduation degree. Today is a time when you have the EU, a very, very brilliant thought of our honorable prime minister who brought this in, where graduation students are also would also be participating it in, in this program. And they, they, they can really transform their ideas into success stories. You can see the presentation and I'll just, uh, we can have an interaction on this if you wish to know more on this. And the date closes on 31st of March, 2022. I've already shared this information with Dr. Mandana. And through this platform, I thought we should begin our presentation when we talk idea being transformed, an innovative idea transformed into a technology. This is none better than this could have existed. This is the complete landscape. I just put, tried to put it on one slide where you can see what I was talking in the last five minutes. Pre-incubation capacity building platform. This is pre-incubation is EU. You see that logo, logo of EU of Punjab University, which I'm adding. Then is what we have as a, as a bridge. There is a massive bridge of incubation. When we say an idea coming from a college student going as a success story to the society means it's selling it's selling in the market how would that happen what is the roadmap everybody talks that translational research here we are talking of that complete platform which is existing practically existing i'll show you one small little as a, a presentation virtual uh, you can say virtual tour of our facility uh, which we created because uh, during the lockdown because everybody is, was uh, at home but a couple of my staff and me we were throughout the lockdowns also we were in the offices so we created that virtual platform because there was no other way to actually interact with people during that time so one has to be innovative to really see that we we go across to the public in a very different way so pre-incubation space is what I have explained and you, if you see the incubation space that's again we bifurcated it into two we really look at that value proposition. Value proposition, once it's located, it's very important. Anybody and everybody would need some financial support. Here we are with an offer of a financial support where you can, I, I will come down to some of the uh, examples which I'll show and tell you how that funding support can be leveraged. There are a lot of opportunities and you as a biology students, you as a food and food technology students are one of the real rich, you can say, uh, um, um, uh, uh, you can say students with a mental ability to really transform your idea into a success story and technology support because this is very important component because at this stage most of the technologies fail so we've tried to create that bridge through the incubation space where we have a complete technology platform 
you showed something on proteomics, something on scale ups, something of identification, something on high end instrumentation, something of plug and play systems. I'll show you some of the, those components. You would say you're not audible. There is some network issue. Yes, I think so. Okay, by the time sir joins back, can you all switch on the camera so that we can take picture? So I'm sorry, I, I we lost you. Lo you all lost me. I'm really sorry. So we were talking about technology and see, see the. We always talk pros and cons of technology. Thank you, Dr. Vandana. You told me. It's okay, sir. Yeah. Uh, can you see my slides? No, sir. Okay, I'll share my screen again. I'll do that.
Can you see my screen now? Yes, sir. Are the slides visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm very sorry that look at we are, we have a hundred Mbps uh, LAN connection and I still it went off. I don't know. Please do inform uh, uh, me if it goes off again. But anyway, sorry for that. But it doesn't matter. I'll cover it now. Uh, now look, I was I hope uh, did, did, did we uh, did get disconnected at the stage of uh, uh, incubation? I was just trying to talk about incubation space. So did we get connect, disconnected at that stage? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, okay. sir. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'll just, uh, I'll just talk about it again. And as I was talking, I said that there is a bridge which is absolutely required when you're talking of a success of a technology, the so-called technology to begin with, because our thoughts are always that we are, uh, whatever work we are doing, as I said right in the beginning, is societal benefit worth something related to the society where we say we will deliver to the society. Now, the, the incubation space, as you can see in the brackets, it's put in brackets for a reason, that this is the actual bridge which is actually absolutely required for you to really create something which you called as a proof of concept, and then post proof of concept, taking that technology into the market. And as I said, that in our technology uh, platforms, we have ideal conditions for scaling up a technology, which most of the times industries are looking for, for validation of a technology from the bench scale to take it up at a stage where we would not have to invest to see that success at larger scales. So through the, our incubation spaces, you can really uh, have that dream come true, as I would put it, because this dream come true happens once you have those results being replicated at a uh, scale, which is at home with your buyer. Because here we are talking about three segments, the creator, the buyer, and the seller. You are the creator and the buyer is that industry if you're talking b2b businesses and customer is the one to whom that industry is selling so these are the three important segments of any technology uh, uh, you can say a platform or any technology selling platforms now we have that creation and more importantly what then is very important for us Pre-validation done at the incubation space. Then is the post-incubation. Now, what is this post-incubation? Post-incubation today involves a lot of things where if you have done that pre-validation -valid stage work and it's, it's something like, uh, I would give an example, some of uh, example which you would be very comfortable to understand is some food product. You've done those pre-validation studies and maybe in some of the cases you have, uh, we, we are almost, you can say, when you're talking of that pre-validation, NABL accreditation uh, systems already exist with us. So you have those certifications being done either through an NABL accredited lab or through an incubator and those certificates help you because you've done that analysis, sell you that product into the market, one. Or for a food product where you can say those that testing which is uh, very high end testing is still required one the second one is where we would say that high end testing is required you have to carry out the proper validation post incubation component is there and we have a support system through our uh, setup only and government of india supported setup i would say wherever i'm saying our setup would mean government of india sponsored setup where you can be provided good amount of finances, finances up to, as you saw, seed fund. Seed fund is uh, for entrepreneurship successes only. Once who, once who have done the pre-validation studies at incubation, fund up to 30 lakhs can be given to a startup, uh, a registered startup for validation studies, for scale-up studies, wherein that validation and scale-up is sufficient for you to either do uh, B2C or B2B businesses, right? B2B businesses is most of the people are preferring that because B2C businesses are slightly 
uh, difficult sometimes, but are successful in some other examples, which we can discuss later on. And after you are done with that validation studies, today uh, there are a lot of virtual, virtual platforms, one like ours, you have so many social media components which are existing and you can really reach the market through those social media uh, uh, systems. This is what we call as an entry uh, policy implementation. I've already shared that and we, it's very important now for any platform where a person enters with an idea and moves out with the technology. And when you're talking about moving out of it with the technology, we have tried to extend that tenure of people means tenure of individuals who walked into the system, who set up their things with just an idea, their cerebral component, and carried out that whole set, uh, you can say, uh, ideation to reality creation, and are still existing with us, though the platforms are there with you for three years. Three years is a long time, though for some technologies is lesser time. So successes may happen in six months time, may happen in two years time, may happen in three years time. So those platforms supported by the government are existing for three years. Then you exit those platforms because, because it is thought that your idea has already reached the stage of an, an enterprise. But now what we have done is some of these startups or some of the, uh, you can say, success stories that happen, they do not want to invest their own pocket money into reality enterprise at that stage. So we have those uh, scale up platforms with us where they can be extended for another two years and pick up this grant of seed fund. I'll show you some of the successes through the seed fund where people have put up their own enterprise, own scale up plant and are selling directly into the market B2C or B2B also and really succeeding in big time money. So the complete platform provides you an opportunity to move from idea to your own enterprise without investing any money from your pocket. Now this is a bioeconomy ladder. It's a very, again, some of the components are, I would just try to make you understand because we all talk entrepreneurship, we all talk an ecosystem which is startup driven, an ecosystem which is innovation, an ecosystem where everybody's a partner, but just try and understand from this slide. First is today's meeting, I would call it as an, a meeting of ice breaking. This is an interaction which is ice breaking, not even exploratory meeting. Exploratory meeting is stage one, where we all sit together or we call for applications the way we have called for EU applications. We call for applications in all cases. And then we discuss that idea across the table. Today it's a virtual time and we, I understand from the next week, everything is going to go offline. You all will be attending your colleges and classes will happen offline. You will have those exploratory meetings with your mentors and then mentors and you, your teams discuss it with further with people like us where we can talk about that ideation idea which you are having and how to transform in their, that into success story. Now, there are different stages in that exploratory meeting. Once that is discussed, then it goes to the committee and then it moves from there. Once you qualify, you reach the pre-incubation launch pad. We have that pre-incubation launch pad in the form of what you call as EUR. Then, after you are driven through the pre-incubation space, you move to the incubation space with further funds. That's, that's, that's where you are dream coming through story actually begins when you can talk about talk about that success which you term as societal uh, benefit success is going to come through then the arrow tells us that sky's the limit then now through the pre-incubation launch plan you do not need to be a company you can be an individual no equity is charged for anything that you do Time frames can now, we initially began with three months, can go on for 12 months as per the government norms. 
after you graduate, then you start thinking about something which we term as a startup today. Something where we talk of that company inception. It can be a private limited company. It can be an LLP, limited liability partnership comp, uh, uh, startup, or it can be proprietary based also. Then you have dedicated mentors for that because you would have some directors working in that company, some advisors working for that company. And incubation can also be done by individuals. Fourth component is the individuals. But some of the grants are for a basic eligibility, you have to be a, either a private limited company or LLP, which a single person can also do. You do not need to have a team of people to be a startup. Then, then you have, as we are talking of the seed funds where you do not invest anything, but the government puts in, puts in money, they evaluate your company, evaluate your company, do not evaluate, they evaluate your company and see that what is the valuation of your company. And on that basis, government puts in the equity. As I said, if you, I'll give you an example. If you are a company which is three crores, valuation comes to be three crores. Government can put in 10% equity. That's what we do in, in case of seed fund. 10% would be 30 lakhs coming from us as a partner to the government, to your company, which is valuated at three crores. Then is the next stage, very important stage. Once you do the validation, it's important. Outreach is very, very important. So you, we can guide you through to those uh, platforms, connect where you can reach out to the market in a very, very effective and efficient manner. Now, we've talked about some of the things where some of the things might not have been understood by you through this virtual platform, but very importantly, when I say technology building platforms, when I say technology platforms, what do they contain? There are some focus areas, like for our system, we have three focus areas, but we are multidisciplinary, like we place it right on uh, the beginning itself. Bioprocess technology, biopharmaceuticals, very, very importantly for food, for you, food and agriculture. In agriculture, we are a partner to Government of India for secondary agriculture too. Then we are very, very, you can say, uh, multidisciplinary in really addressing the in requirements of the market, different sectors, healthcare, specialty chemicals, energy and environment, process in the design and simulation. I'll show you that how really we have catered to such things uh, through, through uh, very, very innovative mechanisms to really show up products, which are those starting from the mind of a biologist, involving all types of engineering skills, involving all type of, uh, uh, all type of uh, um, architectural skills, all type of uh, metal design skills, metallurgy skills, uh, and uh, mechanical engineer skills in the, for successes. Uh, and it's very important, as I said, one of the important components of uh, today's era and all eras would be the communication facilities, LANs and wi -Fi's. As I said, we have 100 Mbps connection available with us. Now, for one to reach the market, this is the key slide, I would say, because if you see the title of my talk, I, I, it's ideation to technology how to really transform an innovative idea into a technology these are all these steps and stages of that creation i have spoken but they are listed down here you start from idea you move to proof of concept proof of principle or proof of concept then you demonstrate that proof of concept then you establish that proof of concept these are the three pillars of incubation. Proof of concept, laboratory scale analytical experiments, which are done and initiated and some results obtained. Proof of concept for demonstration, concept proven at a lab scale, flask level, you optimize that uh, complete uh, setup. Then is the establishment of that at a laboratory scale reactor, Laboratory scale reactor would mean five to seven liter capacity reactors, where working volumes would range from three liters to five liters or six liters in some cases. Then is the early stage validation, which I was discussing. Moving from there, that five liters, cutting across lines, moving to 100 liters. 
From there, you would say that you move to the, as I said, pre-validation. It can be a part of your incubation itself. And late stage validation would mean that the complete product is obtained. You validate the stability of that product and simple validation through single experiments is not acceptable. The repeatability of the process, when we say repeatability of the process for students, repeatability of the results which you obtain to get, because our target is to really move into a very stable product. Consistently, you should be getting those results for that product. Then late stage validation is pilot scale. We talk about more than 100 liters, 100 or 100 and above. When if you move, that's the stage. These are different TRL levels. Because if you talk a term, if you talk the language of a technologist, you are at the outset asked at what TRL level is your technology? TRL 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. These technology readiness levels are defined as per norms. These are for the bioprocesses and biopharmaceuticals. And it's very important. These are all designed by the government, norms which are existing, and the norms which have to be followed. And to really place your technology readiness level, if you talk the term TRL5, and you are interacting with a person who's talking commercialization, person who's talking technology transfers, would understand that you have a very good amount of knowledge to talk the TRL levels and would automatically understand if you are saying TRL 5, I would understand that yes, you are talking about a scale of 100 liters, which in some cases, as I said, might be a very, very good scale to really go to the market very quickly. TRL 5 and above is success for you when you talk idea to a technology transfer. TRL 6, 7 are very, very important and essential when you talk of some products. As we talk products, we talk about high value commercials, we talk about value commercials, and we talk about bulk products. Now, what are these three? High value commercials is a, I would say, I'll give you a very simple example. You're talking something like a COVID vaccine. You're talking something like um, some injectable for a cancer patient. You're talking something when, what, what do I mean by saying this? You cannot afford any contamination of any other thing. We are not talking contamination of a micro. We are talking contamination of a product through other components, which may be very closely related means your purity levels have to fall in the category of 95 to 99 percent pure and more importantly greater than 99 percent pure if you are injecting directly that into a human when you're talking value products you're talking some purity levels above 90 and uh, 90 to 95 you are downstreaming it in such a way that you take it up to 93 94 you're saying that technology is sellable then anything below that where you do not, you're not consuming it straight. You're not consuming it as such. Like give you an example, you, you produce an enzyme which is going to be used in distillery. You all must have studied that. So that comes in a, falls in a category of a bulk product. Means you are producing something where that much amount of purity isn't required. You produce it and you use it for some other process. And then you finally get a product where you have a distilled material with you as the final product which is consumed by human. I hope I have been able to uh, you know, make it very clear to you. So your early stage validation, late stage validation, two components of it are all primarily based on what type of product you are looking for. I just told you the three categories of the products where a technologist would label it. And very important, all want to see a lot of money. When you're talking the success of a technology, what is it going to transform into? I showed you the economic uh, component where you have an economic cycle. I did not explain it well. I just showed you ladder because to reach that, there is a long drawn process. The process I've shared with you. Now, each component of your success, yes, you get a lot of name and fame. You get a lot of grants in the way you saw that we got them. But 
it's very important to have a face in the market you really have to those have to have those success stories and those success stories have to move to the market and what is the catch catch is the money and you are earning you are when you're talking the success of an enterprise means you are earning through your profits the selling price is more than the cost price sp minus cp is equal to p sp minus cp is equal to l means is not acceptable you are into losses so your sp cannot be lower than uh, cost price but as to keep an sp higher than the cost price it's very important your product should be such that people want to buy it i give an example of apple there are a lot of examples other than apple also we made that we are great man the facebook man uh, zuckerberg a multi trillioner billionaire through uh, he started his uh, you know uh, his startup uh, one dollar company he was a one dollar company and now he is a multi billionaire so sitting uh, using your apple device you are using that facebook for which some somebody else is uh, generating the profits you are getting connected to the world but he found a very good mechanism of using people's information to earn so that's an opportunity which i am talking about and you have to be smart when you create your idea to have all those blocks in place that was the reason why i chose such a topic for you in the interaction with you uh, people in uh, who are doing their bachelor's degree now this is what we have we have laboratory facilities innovative technology building platforms management workshops multiple management workshops we have business development education multiple things we are doing on soft skill skill development on interaction with business experts interaction with of people with uh, company heads then uh, strategy building national and international we have already gone global as you you could see from that in the description uh lines industries uh, mumbai is our uh, today collaborator and partner we don't declare it because of the ndas which we have signed with them but they are the tallest players and you had professinius kavi which is a uh, which is a seventh largest group uh, of hospitals in um, uh, germany and they have two three pl two plants in india and uh, which i'll just give you the name uh, dabar india limited was uh, bought over by professinius in Uh, Kabi Oncology, Dabur India anti-cancer injectable plants long ago were bought by Fresenius Kabi. Uh, Dabur is and uh, for anti-cancer material, Dabur is not selling as Dabur now. It's been bought over by Fresenius Kabi Oncology. So and multiple other very big brands are already associated with us. Uh, we have a lot of internship and uh, training mentoring programs. A lot of your students have been part of that and troubleshooting. We do it for multiple skill set uh, systems. where companies do it for come with us uh, come to us with uh, issues related to their research and development their process development their uh, site uh, issues so we try and solve them and them out here these are all, some of our partners it's now an extended family a lot of them are there who are part of us i just name some of them and you can see there are many more these are some of our resident incubators some of them uh, we have 25 uh, in number now uh, these are very briefly placed uh, achievements and records uh, which we have had over a period of time and um, through multiple programs uh, we have a lot of big awards big means biotechnology ignition grant Uh, biotechnology ignition grant as you all might be knowing the ones who participated in our programs is a grant which is uh, uh, which is given to a student who has stood i would say a graduate means a student who has done bachelor's degree can is eligible to apply and can get a grant of 50 lakh rupees uh, as one time uh, grant for 18 months to transform an idea into proof of concept first stage proof of concept not an established not a validated proof of concept so that's the stage 1 grant and you are not to return anything to the government you have to honestly work just uh, doing a graduation to become eligible for that sbir sbire grant is the next stage grant of uh, big you do that then the government puts in some money in your technology up to 25 lakh rupees they put in to your technology post big or even if you are not big you directly can apply and then there is equity based funding from government up to 2 crores 
two or two crores is 200 lakhs so you do not invest anything you just give your stake in the next 1.75 cr multiple corporate social responsibility funds for multiple components we chose a lot of uh, you can say ideas giving them a hundred thousand indian rupees for a year and availability of our incubation space a uh, student ko mil sakta hai for idea jisko usne yahan pe aake kaam karke koi ek stage tak pahunchana and then becomes eligible for all grant opportunities which are existing and our incubation space and through us to government of india for creation of that technology from simply your idea then under bioprocess technology we have multiple startups with us from one bench scale experiment of uh, from 100 milliliters to 250 liters and we have had two product launches and two products selling in the market at the moment multiple awards and honors lots of patents in all three segments we have number of patents and uh, successes through uh, when you say product launches products available in the market so and very importantly for the third segment food technology and agriculture uh, we had secondary and uh, agriculture entrepreneurial network, which was, you can say, was the initiation of uh, government of India, BIRAC, to create, really create a network of secondary agriculture entrepreneurial network meant that there was a network of four institutions. We were one of the partners, BIRAC PU was one of the partners, Punjab State's Council for Science and Technology was another partner. Then NABI and SIAB, the DBT funded institutes in Mohali were the other two partners. So we were four partners who were funded over 10 and a half crore rupees for developing this network. And we at Bionis PU hosted five projects of students like you or startups who were existing in this space of agriculture or food technology. We were funded up to 50 lakhs in house and created some technologies which I'll share with you today. Uh, these are some of the facilities. I just picked up some pictures of our laboratories to show you all the things which are existing with us, high-end technology platforms with all type of components where you can walk in, walk in and really talk and yeah, be a part of, uh, uh, be a part of uh, this system. Uh, uh, then this is uh, the molecular biology setup. Uh, as we were all facing that situation of the pandemic, and uh, there was a day, I will share this with you because you can look at everything as an opportunity. Please listen to me carefully what I'm going to share with you. You all, and we all, I would say, were scared one day that God knows where the world is moving to. So there was a shortage of materials for everyone. The major pitfall one day came was for the qPCR, real-time PCR, means one of the very important components which was required for testing COVID positive patients. And the samples were being taken, a lot of time was being, you know, invested, people were scared that I'm not getting my result. So uh, I do not know whether I'm positive or negative and people were charging heavily. During that lockdown time, through a corporate social responsibility fund, I got this qPCR machine here at site available with us. We have a partial BSL2 facility with us where we got ready for things that tomorrow if required, God forbidden, the numbers go beyond something and we are permitted by the system. It's very important permission of the system. We should have a backup where we may contribute to the society through this. We have the capability. So we built up this facility during that lockdown period. We got that approved, those approvals, and post lockdown, we got the uh, machine and we got that going and skilled some people so that they are there if required tomorrow. For, and today we are using that machine for our research and development. 
So we set up that molecular biology facility. Prior to that, we were not having the molecular biology facility at all in our technology building system. So we, we looked at it not from a commercial angle. We looked at it from the societal angle. We looked at, looked at that opportunity which may deliver tomorrow to the society in some form. And then we became the partners. Government of India chose us as one of the very important partners for oxygen concentrators because one of the centers in Vizag, uh, AMTZ, as you might be knowing, is one of the major producers of oxygen concentrators and consumables for QPCR. They are one of our finest partners at Vizag, one of the lead partners in the country. So we became, because oxygen, you all know, when people were talking about the Delta strain and a lot of people were losing their life because of paucity of oxygen. So that's how we contribute to society, not only through technology developments, but some of the systems which are part and parcel of technology development for direct societal benefit. So those oxygen concentrators, we were assured that thousand concentrators will be sent to us in three days time. Uh, they'll be airlifted from Vizac, will reach Chandigarh, and I was made the POC, point of contact for, and we partnered with uh, these Ola guys, that four cabs will be available, who will pick it up from our center and place it directly at your doorstep. Means you will have that availability of the oxygen concentrated at your home. You just have to, uh, you know, apply through the app. You do have to do nothing, not call us. Apply through the app. The application will be marked and the delivery will happen. So this is how one causes those. This is the facility where people go. There are chambers, as you know, BSL2 has its own requirements. We created those very quickly and got into a situation where uh, you can say uh, you could talk, uh, uh, you could talk success for not you, for the whole society. Now, these are the systems which are there for large scale uh, materials, because as I'm talking, I'm talking scales of hundreds of liters. So sometimes it becomes a real big task that how you would downstream them. So we have a uh, pilot scale homogenizer, which is helping us cause that downstream very quickly means cell breakage system. This is one of the cell breakage systems of one of the lead companies in the world. This again, we bought during our lockdown period only. So, uh, and, uh, so that we can produce the materials at that level, which can directly be uh, pushed to the market. These are, you can see different capacities, seven liter, 25 liter, and uh, 250 liters. We always move in the scales of tenfold. For a scale of technology, as you all are students of that technology building systems, so you would understand it more than others, that we have a scale up by 25 liters. From here, you move tenfold, go to 250 liters. And in an academic setup, you know, this is one of the rare facilities with us in north of India. So uh, look, for this is one of the process plants, which is a part of one of the startups, a food uh, uh, startup, food processing startup. And they have some products. They had one, uh, one facility available in Jaipur. They had a small plant there. But they moved with us for one of the grants, as I showed you, Secondary Agriculture Entrepreneurial Network grant. So we funded them. And they, they set up this plant through our fund at, at our site for producing materials in a bottle, uh, some juices uh, and some fermented juices and sell it to the market. So they had their own technology, which uh, through this uh, plant uh, turned out to be uh, one of the successes for them. Apart from those uh, wet space technology platform, we also have dry spaces because you wouldn't really need uh, uh, spaces where people can walk and sit, discuss across the table, use a facility, this, uh, if you see on the right side, we have a, a 3D graphics land. And 3D graphics, you can walk into that room with a cup of coffee. Just have your, what we, we have organized one mad idea workshop also, and competition also. And you just walk into that place with your finger. You can just draw on the screen something which is very creative, something which is very thoughtful, something which you think that can be a reality tomorrow. I just tell everyone one important thing, and that is what I'll share with you. No idea is crazy. The success always comes from that so-called crazy idea. 
just remember this tagline you really have to have a crazy idea mm -hmm. when you say crazy means out of the box idea for a success you have to be passionate we always say uh, steve jobs had was had passionate enthusiasm what do we understand by passionate enthusiasm passionate enthusiasm nolan bushnell puts him as passionate enthusiast nolan bushnell was the one who picked up steve jobs for his first job in atari he said i found in him something which wasn't existing in other people which wasn't existing at all in other people i'll just give you a very brief uh, again a small little story about the same man Steve Jobs used to ask Nolan very, very strange questions and demand very strange things. One of the things which you might have already read, but I'll reiterate, re-speak up here. He went to his owner, uh, Nolan, that I wish to stay on here in the office only. And he says that I wish to stay in the office because we all look for what timings from nine to five we look for 10 to four those timings those are the office hours look at the man he is telling his owner that i want to stay off on in the office only this is written very well documented by nolan bushnell uh, he has a very good book called finding the next steve jobs you, you know that that's a book which came up and nolan bushnell with gene stone uh, they were there as ones who actually chose uh, uh, this fellow uh, steve jobs identified him who created the world, who transformed the world. And he said that I want to stay on in the office. And do you know what he gave as a justification? He said, I waste a lot of my time traveling because my home is far away. I have to travel three hours and come I use six hours are spent in traveling up and down uh, and it wastes my time. So I want to stay on in the office. And his owner said that we do not have a policy to allow a staff to stay on in the office. At night. Excuse me, ma'am. Who, uh, who is it? Yeah. Yeah, you can continue. Yeah. So uh, if you uh, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, this guy told uh, Steve Jobs, no, we do not have a policy. Believe it. No, Steve Jobs said, if you do not want to allow me stay on here, I'm quitting. I will quit. And his owner had to agree to permit him stay on in the in the uh, Atari premises. There were so many logistics which are required. You understand that if somebody is to stay on in the office, I'm just telling you that how that passionate enthusiasm, which was termed by his uh, identifier and you can say uh, the one who transformed the world, we always say that uh, to uh, real success. And we all read him. We read about him. Uh, want to have products which are developed by him. All of you want the MacBooks, you want the MacBook M1, you do not want uh, iPads which are uh, which were which are outdated. You really want those technology things uh, where you're talking of uh, uh, multiple GBs, uh, TBs today. So terabytes. And uh, he has created that and everybody even after looking at that threefold, fourfold pricing wants to buy it. So that was what came through that man and this small little room gives you that idea to come up with those crazy things, draw them on the screen, see how they look like. Uh, I saw one person creating, believe you me, uh, creating a bioreactor on that screen which looked like a kaleidoscope but, but was actually working like a reactor. बाहर से देखने के लिए कुछ और दिख रहा था बट वो काम रिएक्टर का करता था अगर किसी को वैसे वो किसी प्लेटफॉर्म पे बताता तो शायद पीपल वुड हैव बिलीव दैट लुक व्हाट इज ही टॉकिंग सो दोस आर सम ऑफ द क्रेजी आइडियाज वन पर्सन केम विद अ वेरी वेरी क्रेजी आइडिया यू माइट हैव इंटरेक्टेड विद दैट पर्सन दैट कांट वी हैव अ फोटोसिंथेटिक ह्यूमन यू वुड नॉट नीड मनी फॉर फूड यू क्रिएट योर ओन फूड हैव अ पैच सम where he came with a very strange idea have a patch on the brain uh, on the uh, skull uh, maybe you uh, synthesize your own food so those type of crazy ideas can be done at such places 
nobody comes and nobody disturbs you go walk in do the stuff and come out and these are some of the other places like if you want some uh, spaces for high-end technology systems and also if you want some spaces where you want to work as a startup you want to work as an individual you want to work as a company you walk in pick up spaces where you can have a plug and play facility for your own self all end systems where we are talking we have a pilot scale purifier you must have seen actor starts uh, protein purification systems which can work up to a, a limit of pressures and volumes of proteins concentrations of proteins we have all of them but we have a system where you can downstream you see the bottom uh, first picture at the bottom shows you of one of the uh, act of fluxes which can go up to 100 liters of downstream the tangential filtration flow system up to 100 liters because our, our 250 liter scale up facility needs a good amount of downstream systems which can bring down the volumes of the materials otherwise they are very difficult to process then you wish to purify your protein upper system which you can see is that uh, uh, this uh, uh, pilot which uh, uh, which i want uh, advanced to i want which works uh, up to 150 milliliters of concentrated protein which is a huge amount of protein a lot of uh, back pressure systems this is one of the uh, you know incubation spaces 440 square feet incubation space where people uh, one a couple of uh, startups are working the, these are the outlooks of the labs then everybody needs some recreation means cafeteria which existing uh, which is existing our in our system this, this was the way i could show you all, online now i said that i'll support my uh, presentation and uh, descriptions with some of the success stories so uh, i chose to begin with this i'll share the reason with you your teachers know it uh, this girl is your senior she is from the department where you are studying today and i hope you've heard the name uh, she, she was our student's student in masters Today, she is one of the successful startups by the name of Micro Radical 360 Private Limited. And she has created from her idea, she has worked on that pre incubation space, that is, University Innovation Cluster. She moved from that pre incubation space to incubation space through her BIG, that's Biotechnology Ignition Grant. And I'm very happy to share with you that she has moved from that to the post incubation also. The result has been finalized and she is one of the startups which is going to be funded under that. It's the complete cycle. She came, she had an idea and the idea has reached a stage of post validation. She has a library of microorganisms she has isolated enzymes from those microorganisms created a complete battery of systems where you have a lot of innovativeness not of novelty lot of things i'll just tell you you understand very basic enzymology we all understand basic enzymology we always talk of enzymes being very specific and very selective in her screened isolates, what she has is very unique features of those microorganisms, wherein they are producing those very high value commercial materials. And not only doing that, but transforming multiple substrates, she has those microorganisms which can have the capability of transforming multiple substrate through the same enzyme which is a very unique feature for any biocatalyst to have. These are called as extremophiles. You must have heard the term. Those are extreme in their conditions of creation, production, and their application. So she, she has developed that multiple technologies, and she is now, I think, uh, owner of seven patents, which are which, which are there to her credit. And she is a graduate in food technology from your college and a master's 
in microbial uh, microbial biotechnology in our department and she got all those awards and honors and now she has come up with the names of the enzymes are the, called as the product names trade names as you call them as for enzymes she has come up with novice enzyme for products she has come up with novice series then there was a very important product for which she became one of the best startups in the country she got a consolation prize in the aict award for uh, best startup she got a consolation prize and then was selected for a national competition at ahmedabad in gujarat where she stood first as a startup out of almost 300 uh, participants and she she developed a very unique machine where uh, i'll just show you this this you see this machine uh we were facing a problem of uh, how how a problem becomes an opportunity is it's an example of problem becoming an opportunity uh we were since we were working on extreme extremophiles i would say very wrong terminology but truthfully yes uh extremophiles where um, above the temperatures of 60 degrees you all are students of biology you wouldn't understand we use liquid medium and the medium reduces in volume over a period of time and slowly and gradually you lose the water on on the of the medium so what was done was we used some you know understanding of physics to create a machine which was patented and then launched in the market for the market and where we used very simple principles of vapor pressure creating a vacuum having multiple components in the flask during its incubation from external setups which were attached to the machine to see that the liquid medium remains liquid even at elevated temperatures of 80 degrees which prior to this was really an imaginary thing so she got the first prize for this particular machine which was developed with the help of a fabricator in mohali and all the components because it required a combo of engineering skills why is a combo of engineering skills we are talking vacuum and we are talking uh, talking creation of uh, using that vapor pressure changes which are converse to each other in the same system and also providing aeration which could actually uh, which could act, which are all contradictory to each other but that happened for that what we had to do is if you can see in the upper panel you can see there are multiple rotameters rotameters are used as one of the uh, methods of determining aeration in bioreactors six of them have been put up so you can fix up those and you can have if you can see the lower half you can see the flasks each one of the flasks can be regulated at different vacuum conditions can be regulated at different if you see right right upper corner there are multiple meters which are there where you can locate what is the amount of vacuum that you are giving to each flask which was very very unique uh, in its description and these are the as i said novice enzymes these are multiple enzymes again with their capabilities in the microbial organism all are patented and you can see life life powders presently we are interacting with different companies to for selling of the technology and this is yet another uh, creation these of uh, micro radical 360 this was done under big grant that's biotechnology ignition grant as i shared she was a part of the pre incubation she got the so got selected as a bio uh, birex innovation fellow as a post masters innovation fellow then after pre incubation she got the incubation grant of 48 and a half lakh rupees a lot of money for a person who is just 25 26 years old and this this was created six machines if you see the middle one middle one you can see a big box with a screen that's the pl plc of this machine means the brain of this these six machines this is programmable logic controller plc as it is called all the six machines are controlled through this rectangular box with a screen 
kindly understand something done by a biologist and her mentor me i am not a bio i am not a, an engineer neither is she so it's very important so it's very important that you use you any anybody can be a creator of any technology you really need to have that patch passionate enthusiasm all these six machines work independent of each other this is one of the rare technologies which are which is existing if not if not in the world at least certainly in our country one of the rarest we have called all tall players like appendorf and other companies to come and assess it see for its uniqueness they agree on it means each one of the reactor can run independent of the other there is no machine where you can do this you have if the controller is same what will happen is all the controls remain same in all the six machines here we have a very unique machine where each one of them is independent of the other you can see there is media in four of them they are all running and uh, the process optimization which used to when you are doing reactor studies the ones who do out of you and uh, would know that it's a lot it's a time consuming process and you have to do it on the lab scale here you can do six fold work in one go if you have to optimize six parameters you do in a, it in a single experiment with least errors because you create that inoculum once feed in all six machines you do it in one sixth the time that you spend actually in doing it in six rows so that's a very very unique thing and again uh, this is all patented created by uh, the by micro radical here at sci yet another uh, innovator with us and her uh, technology has been already adopted by one of the companies which is going to produce it now uh, she came up with a uh, nano uh, material for one of the very topically required uh, uh you can say uh, appointment uh, which is very effective for dermatitis she developed this technology here and she is also a biotech big awardee she got 49 and a half lakh rupees for her technology and has moved to post uh, you can say incubation space uh this is yet another one very rare success which came up uh, uh, with us for an anti cancer material and uh, this uh, this girl came from uh, dav college to work with us and today is a startup a very successful startup who has developed not only developed identified an active principle of one of the molecules uh, which has shown its capability and is presently under different stages of uh, testing for uh, post validation uh, pre validation where that molecule has been purified and identified through very high end technology as an absolute molecule which is far away from what is existing presently in the domain of cancer treatments and very happy to share with you that this technology for its clinical work has already uh, she is an awardee for fresenius kabi oncology uh thing uh, her startup was funded by fresenius kabi owner and they agreed to pick up this technology for the clinical trials at their end through their own resources uh, uh, free of cost which is again a very big pitfall before you reach actually the scale of selling it in the market uh, i showed you a plant uh, where uh, one of the startups who was funded by us created that facility this is the product of that startup which is selling by the name of diovita different juices uh, food product choco banana drink and juicy orange and multiple uh, components which they have created in a very unique manner and uh, very uh, packageable and they have bought they have created that bottling plant here with us the complete production plant and bottling here with us this is yet another food material i've chosen those examples where you can see that something which you people profess are uh, can be successful technologies tomorrow this is av nutricare private limited another startup chosen under the uh, agriculture fund by us for creating a product which was uh, very fortified with vitamin d and uh, is 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 produced through a very innovative way very simple though very simple but very innovative way which is patented they are using high pressure homogenizer for creating a material and then bottling it for selling this is yet another uh, food waste i would say uh, you have a lot of straws 
available in the uh, people are talking about uh, paddy burning people talk about uh, lots and lots of pollution and this startup has developed a very unique method of using that at a very large scale to produce certain enzymes and use those enzymes for transforming multiple products some are high value commercials and some are used for food uh, you know industry uh, bakery so they tied up with the monica's uh, uh, bakery in this in sector 8 and multiple places they have it in that zirpur also and uh, for producing esters food flavor esters where which can be used by the bakery industry uh, for their products through very environment friendly manner this is yet another food startup where this uh, boy who who has this startup is producing apple cider vinegar and selling it in thousands of liters per month not only this he is also an awardee of the seed fund and has set up a scale up plant for gluten free flour so he got the seed fund he created he, that's his creation the gluten free flour produced by his company technology belonging to his company and he has scaled it up to 3000 uh, tons per month which is huge capacity through seed fund that's post incubation fund and has set up initially set up a plant during lockdown the plant was set up in mohali has moved that plant to ludhiana now so looking at his market and is selling thousands of kgs per month by the name gluten go so he already has the product in the market uh, which is gluten free so thank you very much uh, together we plan together we had that's the punch line for us thank you very much for your time uh, we can have a few questions if you have some uh hello uh thank you sir uh, is my voice audible yes sir yes yes it is audible it is audible thank you sir for such a valuable deep and enriching talk uh, you have given a comprehensive insight into the role process the entire road map which is involved how to take your idea how to evolve your idea in fact for practical applications in form of a process or a product uh, for the society and mankind at large and uh, as rohit sir has correctly pointed out look out for opportunities and in fact don't worry uh, from the problems because problems uh, easily turn into very potential opportunities so with this i'm sure all of you are now feeling more uh, energetic more motivated and more clear in your concepts and i now request all the students to show their active participation feel free and interact and clear on your doubts if you have any so uh, we can have the question out uh, question answer round sure sure yes that, that that's more required yes students please feel free to interact Uh, yes nandita you have a question unmute yourself and ask students so we can plan a visit uh, dr rohit so in next month is it possible so with students if we can plan a visit to your facility yes yes surely surely we are very open to that yes they can come they can see and uh, i have just shown you uh, if you want i can show you the video also if they want to come live yes surely they are most welcome to visit us very uh, happy to have we will be very glad to have them here and they should all apply for this pre incubation grant this is a golden opportunity let me tell you and and it's very important uh, as i said uh, let's not yes i talked about steve because i myself am a fan of steve but uh, uh, but there are many things we have a lot of steves in uh, right across the globe 
so uh, and it's very important in life uh, as we all talk theoretical he we his his mentor and his uh, you can say first employer i will not call it mentor because nolan bushnell wasn't more or less his mentor because he was a man who was his own mentor it seems and uh, and uh, he talked about that passionate enthusiasm that's very theoretical but for all of us because uh, if you see my slides i had an option to choose either to go for that theoretical presentation or go in for a presentation which would make the students feel that they are on the right track they are they have chosen the right subject they have done the correct thing by walking into a system which would is which is very highly applicable which is highly required which is highly you can say uh, uh, which delivers very heavily so i have just picked up those examples i have shown you the examples related to food technologies only we have a number of technologies related to very high value proteins alliance has one project with us and then we have vaccines projects i didn't show that those things and uh, uh, i chose those examples and one example from your own college so they could see that uh, how uh, a person who simply has an idea walks in i, I would like to share it with all of you students uh, it's very important to locate that opportunity and i hope you i'll give you a very I, again I, i'm very fond of you know uh, telling of small stories which i read i always feel that we should share it with our students because they really need it i will tell you how an opportunity exists with us but we lose it i'll give you an example i read it somewhere please excuse me if you have also read it and i go wrong on some of the words i'm just trying to uh, create that enthusiasm in you uh, there was a person who was a farmer in africa if you read that book please excuse me just bear with me and uh, i am reiterating and uh, that uh, person was a simple farmer having a small land and he he used to uh, you know sow things and harvest and then that's it one day somebody came to him he said that look diamonds is the most precious thing on the earth we all know it he didn't tell him something which was rocket science he told shared something with him that that was very very a regular thing and he said diamonds is the most precious thing we are all all fond of buying diamonds everybody wants to buy we don't have money so we don't buy so he said yes and a thought came to him that let me go and across the world i am doing a job which is nothing it would never get me diamonds just listen to me carefully students it's all for you only so what he did he sold his small land which he had to somebody else to get some money so that he can travel the world and see where can we locate the diamonds and he sold it and then he moved from africa went to europe traveled right across europe and by the time he reached spain you know he was dead tired chalta chalta aadmi thak hi jata hai ki aap dhoond rahe ho kya dhoond rahe ho duniya mein diamond aise thodi pade hue mil jayenge so he got tired he got physically tired thakavat ho gayi and he also got financially drained financially tired thakavat ho gayi and Uh, then he decided i should go back to africa because i have lost all my money i don't have any money further and i am i should go back home at least khane ko roti mil jayegi during the time when he was traveling back the farmer who had bought his land was watering the uh, land one day and he saw one stone during watering the land and there was bright sun sunshine and he could see that stone was sparkling because of that sun shine falling on that stone he picked up that stone picked it up and took it to his home so thought ki i'll keep it in my drawing room and that will be that look very pretty and one day another friend of his came and he said what is this he said this is a stone which i found in my farmland that person told him that this doesn't seem to be an ordinary stone he said why he said no this doesn't look to be an ordinary stone he said this is an ordinary stone he didn't agree he said no this is not an ordinary stone he said i have many stones like this in my farm so that person said uh, is it true they went to the farm back to the farm and in the farm they saw a lot of stones like that 
and then then he the other person took him to the diamond merchant diamond merchant after locating that stone told him this is these are real diamonds so yeah he said he has a lot of them in his farm and you can imagine that he was he became one of the richest persons because diamonds were there in the land which he bought from a person who was dissatisfied who was told that if you have one big diamond you can buy a city and if you have multiple big diamonds you can buy a country and that farmer became greedy he sold his land to a man who became that rich which the other farmer did not become rich because of his very bleak thought now it is not about thought here you would say what is the moral of the story sir you are telling a story which we might have studied as read as a kid the opportunity existed under his feet he was using that farm land to sow some crops digging it plowing it watering it getting the harvest selling that harvest the opportunity was below his feet but he lost it because of his poor thought and poor attitude so multiple theoretical words which are adjectives for people are reality of life i can tell you so what i am trying to tell you all students is you have reached a place an institution which is one of the premier institutions not only in the city as a name in the country and you are in a course which is very very strongly deliverable course i have showed you some success stories those are real times uh, things which uh, which have happened at our end so your opportunity is below your feet only means where you are standing don't look for opportunities around it's very important to see that you profess what you have learned degrees are just one sources to do that one opportunities and your teachers have taken uh, you know that that th thought that we should uh, uh, bring on board somebody like me maybe uh, i can share my thoughts with them they have been doing it with you for years now so uh, when you hear it from an outsider you know they, you feel oh yes that's very important maybe your teachers are also telling you the same things every day meeting you talking to you discussing the same things with you so it's very important to use that opportunity below your feet to the best through your mentors success will automatically happen so i just wanted to share i hope uh, students you have gathered what i said so the opportunity is already with you uh, if you don't count it below your feet you can count it in your hands so thank you uh, yes students do you have any questions yes ma'am yes sajal first of all good uh, good afternoon to one and all good afternoon sir good afternoon sajal yes uh, so it was very good to speak to you about your thoughts about our ideas and uh, can i understand that what to in the pre and post incubations pardon pre and post incubation so yeah pre incubation is like i i started my presentation with the pre incubation slide only because actually theoretically also the system starts at pre incubation means jahan pe aapke paas idea hai idea ko aap kisi reality mein transform karna chahte hain to aap uske liye ek road map practical road map banate hain usme aake aap kaam karte hain kuch experiments perform karte hain aur un experiments ki success ko dekhte hain jahan weaknesses hoti hain usko plug karte hain right so that is pre incubation means sometimes some of the some of the students who walk in are very very you know intelligent enough mentally to really create a poc at pre incubation space only means jo incubation mein hona tha shayad pre incubation mein ho gaya aur kabhi wo pre poc bhi hota hai dono components are part and parcel of the pre incubation then the second part up to a validated poc is incubation then pre validation Or I would say it's at the cusp. Pre-validation is at the cusp, but post-validation or validation are part of your post-incubation, where you need a fund to actually validate your technology to see carry out those analyses which are actually required for an industry or you as a B2C component to really sell it in the market. 
ठीक है सेजल ठीक है सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू यस गर्ल्स एनीवन एल्स Uh, Deepika, do we have any uh, interactions in the chat box? You would like to uh, ask? Not yet, ma'am. There are no questions in the chat box. Okay. Okay. So maybe they want to visit and then talk. Yes. That's one to one. Extra. Yes, a one to one interaction. Uh, is very much required yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yes uh, so vanna so, ma'am uh, shall we uh, proceed further okay so on behalf of the organizing team uh, it is my privilege to extend the official vote of thanks on this occasion uh, at the outset i would like to thank you thank our worthy madam principal dr nisha bhargava for supporting us guiding us and mentoring us to grow and learn each day my wholehearted appreciation and thankfulness goes to our eminent speaker dr rohit sharma for enlightening all of us clearing our concepts and enhancing understanding in this direction so i would like to be very clear that it was amazing and uh, so delightful to hear from you you have delivered the concept in a very easy to understandable and very thorough approach we look forward for more such sessions and future collaborations with you sir and the honor will be all ours i express my deep gratitude to department of science and technology and renewable energy chandigarh administration for supporting mcn vigyan manch i run short of words to express my humble thanks to dr vandana sharma our mentor for organizing this wonderful webinar reflecting all her dedicated efforts and proactiveness thank you ma'am i acknowledge the work and efforts of all my dear colleagues dr gurpreet kaur dr deepika malik dr anila dr kirti goel for the coordinated team efforts thank you girls at the end my heart goes out to my dear students for their participation for their patience and now i want all of you to actually inculcate this thing what has been uh, told by rohit sir and exploit more opportunities look for more opportunities at the end i would conclude by saying words from the great scientist professor c v raman i am the master of my failure if i never fail then how will i learn and succeed so don't worry from failures look for opportunities as said by sir and vanna ma'am uh, kindly yeah uh, 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 i also want to do, express my sincere gratitude to you for accepting our invitation taking time out of your busy schedule and gracing this occasion so on behalf of uh, uh, mcm i promise you that uh, this may be the end of today's session but this is a new beginning thank you so much thank you thank you very much dr vandana thank you very much dr nisha bhargava the principal of the college and dr sandeep and the team of uh, uh, faculty from the department from mcm dav college and students of uh, your department and the college yes dr vandana thank you very much for providing me an opportunity we had the national board meeting yesterday only where all 10 centers along with the government of india team where we were all online for almost 2 hours discussing all these things and uh, uh, with uh, the grace of god and uh, uh, you, uh, you can say cooperation from all you colleagues and the students uh, we have all been getting very good accolades from the government at delhi and uh, we have graduated into you know this is one of the rare platforms now which government of india has set up where uh, um, i have pre incubation incubation and post incubation at the same place in, in one setup and uh, we are very fortunate that maybe uh, we are the only ones at this moment officially recognized by the government for this thing so a lot of uh, inputs are required from you all and a lot of innovators from your colleges are required 
because we've been discussing this at the national level that we should take this to the grassroots levels. So as you can see, a master's and a PhD knows that you are a part, you can be a part of this. A graduation student during one's degree is first of its kind opportunity. So uh, a one year opportunity to be a part of such a system where you can explore the, all those possibilities and be an employer rather than being an employee. So that's what uh, Shivanshi has employees in her lab. So she doesn't need uh, others to come and uh, you know support her financially. So uh, you can see uh, their role model can be uh, her, their senior only. And it's very important for them to identify it because we intend to take it back to the schools. That's the primary intent. Gaiti program is already for the schools. Yeah. So, uh, but let's see the success which happens in this EUA system. And I would request you all to ask more and more teams to apply in the EUA rather than some limited teams. Multiple teams should apply because anyone who succeeds, you know, it's a success for the whole system. One succeeds, two succeed, more succeed. So you can have multiple applications. That's what we were discussing yesterday. I was telling them that like, look, we are moving to the colleges and uh, we, uh, if we all go offline uh, very soon, it's going to be offline. Ours, this system is already offline. So uh, that's an opportunity where one can really, uh, you can say, uh, interact and discuss some of the very small things, certain things which are there as a, in our mind that should I or should I not? So it's very important to erase that should I not. So that not is a very, NOT is not a good word. So I just gave those examples of even those people who, who have been uh, pathfinders and even uh, role models for all of us. So they never looked at the, the word NOT. They always located the best out of the worst. I There was no reason for me to show uh, a QPCR machine and tell that this is one of the facilities. It just stuck to the mind that we are talking some societal benefit things. How can we contribute without earning also? That's very, very important for everyone. So. That's what has to be a cause in the mind. Yes, students would say we want an employment. Here's a chance to start for that employment with an employment and then keep raising your bar. And sky's the limit, I can tell you. If Shivanshi can do it, others can also do the same. Definitely. Pre to incubation, incubation to post is all. This is a complete setup, right? So for her, we have already raised the system of increasing that incubation beyond three years. So we deliberated it at multiple levels that the ones who wish to do it in-house only, why should they not be allowed? So we have created a facility of 250 liters in-house. So we were asked by the safety control committee that why do you need 250 liters in-house so you can outsource it and get it done? So it's very difficult sometimes to convince people and believe me, that's come through corporate social responsibility fund, that, that's the, that system. So the funding is from a corporate house. Resinius Kabi has funded that. So uh, idea was mine, but I had no fund to uh, do it. Corporate gets convinced with what you are speaking, they fund it. They, they need approval from their board. They don't need approvals from different hierarchies. So they funded it and we got it installed during the lockdown period only when everybody was scared Corona ho jayega. When, when the scare went off, to sabhi ko hua. Us time safest time tha kaam karne ka. Kyunki us time sabhi ghar mein thai na. Sab dare huye thai. Ghar se nikal tha hi nahi tha koi. So I was writing to the our ye, jo, district magistrate bar bar that kindly allow me, mere projects kharaab ho rahe. So we allowed it because they had to leave the house. So the moment we got that opportunity, we used that opportunity for doing things which otherwise were imaginary. Were imaginary. 
कि भगवान ना करे आगे से कभी ऐसा कुछ हुआ तो हमारे पास बैकअप तो होने चाहिए सारे तो ये इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है सभी के लिए और वी हैव लर्न कोविड हैज टॉट अस अ लॉट ऑल ऑफ अस लुक ये कभी होता था जो आज हम कर रहे हैं ऑनलाइन आज कह रहे हैं ब्लेंडेड मोड्स ब्लेंडेड मोड भी क्या है लोग तो मैक्सिमम ऑनलाइन ही कोशिश करते हैं सो ये दिस इज दिस इज वेयर वी स्टैंड एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरेक्ट एंड येस डॉक्टर वंदना I agree that this is end of today's session, and we will be very glad to interact with you all for any type of such components. Yes, and sure. we will host uh, we will host some programs for you also. It's independent programs. This was complete technology uh, platform, but we will discuss EUR separately, and we will request you uh, to participate and your students to participate, yes. the ones who would be applicants, to understand the intricacies of the application and any questions they have thereof. Right. so thank you very much for your time all of you and thank you for giving me an opportunity to talk to you all thank, thank you. you sir thank you sir thank you thank you sir